Welcome to everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borak, and this is going to be the latest edition of the Sports Night News Hockey Show, where this is going to be on because of the Sharks' injuries of James Reimer and Aiden Hill. They have Zach Solchenko as their starter, but also did acquire nine days ago Alex Stalock, and this is going to be a video on aforementioned goaltender Alex Stalock, as he's been <clears throat> trying to work his way back from being injured, not playing a good bit of games this year, hasn't really been in a lot of action only has played a small handful of games um, with the Bakersfield Condors, where he was 3-1-0 and this year, but did struggle in terms of being sharp and net where the Condors were just able to really get him enough goal output, where in the past with the Barracuda, with the Iowa Wild, and his other AHL teams, he's been a lot sharper. But that's also because he missed an entire season in the 2020-21 season, after actually having a pretty good playoffs in the 1920 season in a couple games with the Wild because of an injury. So he's worked his way back. <clears throat> the uh, the uh, Oilers and Bakersfield Condors had other guys like Stuart Skinner playing <clears throat> for them, so they didn't really ever use Staylock. So they he is coming in a little bit rusty when it comes to coming into the Sharks, and that showed in his first game he got pretty badly um, destroyed in his first game, but as a whole, uh, he's been actually pretty solid, even if you date back to the, when he played with San Jose before, uh, he was even solid in their playoff one in 13-14, uh, he was able to step up for them, uh, playing three games, um, in that playoff run, where throughout his career, he's been a solid, just depth piece goaltender that you can have as your third goaltender that can step up at different times. Again, he stepped up in 13-14 for the Sharks in the playoffs. And then in 1920, he stepped up for the Wild in the playoffs. So having a goaltender that has experience like that, he's not the sexiest name, obviously, uh, for the San Jose Sharks. But having a guy that has experience like that, somebody you can bring in that's been there, done that, he's not going to kind of fall under pressure as this team tries to recover in the back end of the season here, only at 57 points, 500 win percentage to try to somehow get back into the race. I see them more now just being a great surprise team that we talk about after the season doing much better and being ahead of where they think they are, where maybe they can now be a team that does get into the wild card next year. And that's kind of where I see the Sharks now. But Solchenko got his first win last night, so claps up and congratulations to Zach Solchenko. And now they also have a guy in Alex Stalock who brings some veteran experience, especially at the AHL level and at the NHL level, because he's played um, a good amount of games in his career and is 61, 49, and 18, and has stepped up in two different playoff runs, and has stepped up for the Wild, and has stepped up for the Sharks in the past when they needed him in net when he was drafted by them oh so many years ago. So I think he's a good pickup. He has familiarity with the organization. He's a good veteran. He's nothing sexy, but he's a guy that's just going to help you as Reimer's injured, and also Aiden Hill's been banged up. Solchenko's a good prospect goalie. Yo, he got his first win the other day. But we do see, even in that Kings game, there's some things he still needs to tighten up because he's still at the prospect level, working his way up to being ready to be a full-blown, whether it's a 1B or a 1A NHL goaltender. But everybody, had a, have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been the latest edition of the Sports Fan News NHL Rink Take Show as we talk about Zach Solchenko getting his first win and also Alex Stalock, a good, experienced netminder that's always been a good third stringer for teams in his entire career to be able to get subbed in like he did for the Wild a couple years ago and for the Sharks many years ago when they had injuries to their netminders. Um, everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Stay safe with there. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget to keep us growing to 215. And enjoy the hockey season, everybody. Peace out.